Bill Kavor. That's the name I was given when I was born. Most of you know me by Sully. But if you guys are going to put this in the paper, I'd prefer for you to put Angelica. Uh, <laughs> I was born in 2001, so that makes me 20 years old now. Uh, I hit, started hitchhiking when I was 15 years old. I caught my first freight train when I was 17 out of Effingham, Illinois. One of the worst places to ever try and hitchhike out of, by the way. Just going to let you guys all know that. Um, <clears throat> since then, I've been to about 57 states. And I hopped trains from Montreal all the way to Vancouver, BC. <clears throat> and the whole time I had it in my head that this culture that I appreciated, that I didn't know very much about, was dying. And I, and I thought that my way of life was starting to be forgotten. And <clears throat> when I came here, these lovely people changed my heart on that one. And they changed my idea of that. And they reminded me that it is still alive. And as long as we work to keep it alive, then it'll continue. And uh, these days on the rails, you don't see very much hobo code, or you don't see people respecting each other. And it made me really sad, and it turned me away from it for a while. And I needed to take a break from my own health. And, and then I came here, and I see all of you performing great acts of uh, service for your community. and. And it brought me up, and it reminded me that, you know, I can do that too for the people that I care about. And uh, <clears throat> the real reason I'm up here is because when Mama Jules asked me if, if I was going to be Hobo Queen, I told her that nobody wants a grease monkey as their queen. <laughs> and she told me that that would make me valuable. And all I would want is to like be valuable to the community. And even if I don't make queen, I can still perform those things that make me who I am. And so, is it about that time? <laughs> all right. <laughs> and thank you. Our uh, next one is Hat Track. All right, thank you, Britt, and all my whole family. This is my silver anniversary. I've been coming here to Britt for 25 years. I have met the most wonderful people, and I have done my service to the in the jungle. This year, I'm crumb boss, and uh, three for three years running, I've run the memorial service down at the cemetery. I added my daughter, Crash. And I brought three generations. There's me, my daughter, and my grandson. And I would really love to go out and represent this city, their love and service to the community. They helped me too. That's why I lose too much. But I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. These, the Hubbles family saved my life, saved my sanity when my son and my husband died. So I thank all of you. I thank Britt for letting me come back for 25 years. Um, and I wouldn't trade a thing. Have a good day. Happy Hobo Days. Thank you. North Star. child of Hobo Bird and he hoboed from 1911 until about 1930 and when I was born he was pushing 70 uphill and uh, my mother died three years later and I had the just amazing experience to grow up and listen to his stories and at that time my siblings had grown up and moved away including your 1990 queen Gypsy Moon who's my big sis and the things I learned from my dad, I listened to his philosophies on life, his songs, his useless little poems that he would make up, rubber rubber baby buggy bumpers, 
and things like that. And just, I just loved him. But the greatest thing I took away was his ability to tell a story and how important it was for each of us to know how to tell our own story and to be able to listen intently to the stories of others. And as a high school English teacher, I did that every year in my classroom. There was always a hobo visitor in my classroom every year to help my students understand the value of these amazing stories from the road and how to not only archive them orally, but also in writing. And then I got to retire this year, so I finally get to come to Brit because I don't have a conflict. <laughs> yes! And a couple of years ago, um, I certified as a railroad chaplain in my district um, to be dispatched in of Southern Indiana. And you have a lot of great choices for Queen this year, but if I happen to be selected for some reason, I just want you to know that it is an honor and a pleasure to up uphold the hobo name and to let hobos past, present, and future, young and old, be glorified by what happens here today and for people to understand the real truth about the culture. Thank you. Have a great day. Bucket list. It didn't go across. Bucket list. Hi, my name is Kristen. I'm Bucket List Chris. Uh, so, I'm a native here of Britt, Iowa. I grew up with the hobos. Every summer we take ride our bikes over to the hobo jungle and we take the little pieces of wood for the fire and we get autographs of all the hobos. Stream Chain Murray, Mountain Dew, Virginia Slim. And I just remember listening to them and being like, these people are these mythical, awesome creatures who live by their own drums. You know, they do, they travel. They get to travel all the time. And I was so blown away for that. But I was like, well, I couldn't live that lifestyle. I'm too much of a type A personality and a scary cat. But during the pandemic last year, I took a look at my life because I couldn't work for a year because I'm a national park tour guide. For six months a year, I spend running around the national parks showing people all of their amazing bucket list items. And I realized, wait a minute, I travel for a living. I live that month, that Kohobo code of working to travel and travel to work. When I'm not working during the summer months, uh, I'm traveling on my own, always saving money for the next big travel experience that I wanna go on. So fun story, um, one of my guests, my official title is travel director, but one of my guests said, no, 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 we're renaming you a bucket list fulfillment expert. And I was like, you're kidding me. That is the greatest thing ever. So that's why I adopted Bucket List Chris as my hobo name. Because if my entire life is showing people a good time in their bucket list stuff and encouraging them to create more bucket lists, they can live that awesome free lifestyle of the hobos by just going and traveling and keeping going. And that's so, if I am voted for queen, uh, my whole goal is to keep asking the question to people, what's on your bucket list? Because anybody can do anything they want, you just gotta to go for it, plan it, work at it. And so I hope to encourage you all, think about tonight, what's on your bucket list and start making plans for it. So thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Angie Angel. Hello, everyone. Um, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Angie Angel. I was just recently dubbed as a hobo, something that I have wanted for a very long time. Back in 1994, I came here to visit my dad, and my dad took me to the Hobo Jungle. And I got to meet Steam Train Murray, and I got to meet Liberty Justice, but the thing was, I didn't know exactly what I was in the presence of. I never realized how much of an influence these people would have on my life. I love the hobos, I would do anything for them, and if I'm elected queen, I can, will continue to strive to make sure that everyone understands what a wonderful culture and what a wonderful people that the hobos are. This is a great, great thing.
Thank you very much and have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. I'm a dog. Hello, Britt. Um, I'm Mama Dog. Uh, I've been traveling 12 years. This is my life. It's not a show. Um, I appreciate what you guys do for the hobos. I represent every bit of it. Um, I have road freight. My dog doesn't like it, so we don't do it too much. Um, but I love you guys. I love everybody here. And I run a nonprofit for nomadic pets, so I do serve the hobo community nonstop. Like I said, this is my life. It's not a show. It's an honor to be here, and I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the welcome. Thank you. I'm going to name each candidate again, and if we can get a vote by applause for each one, um, we'll see how this turns out. We have a lot of candidates. Uh, the first one, Sully.
going to take another vote just by applause. Please, no yelling. Sully. Judges, please come over here again. Okay, we've got a winner there too. So, the 2021 National Hobo Queen, Sully. Woo!